So one of the biggest problems we face with birds as pets is that they scream. And birds scream normally. Unfortunately, it's not socially acceptable to us, but it is absolutely a normal behavior. And birds scream in the wild most commonly at dawn and dusk. That's when they're social, they're out there, they're feeding, they're chatting with each other. And unfortunately, this isn't great for us because who wants the bird to be screaming first thing in the morning when the sun is rising or at night when you're trying to go to bed? Unfortunately, if you're gonna have a bird, you have to accept some level of screaming. However, you can work with the bird to try to minimize that screaming. Um, how would you do that, Sarah? Positive reinforcement is pretty much the best way. First of all, if you're holding the bird, or if you're next to the bird, or if you're in the room with the bird, it screams at you, the best thing you can do is walk away. The worst thing you can do is yell. All that does is reinforce it. They think, oh, I'm yelling, and my person's yelling too. This is great, we can all yell together. Obviously, that's not the ideal situation. Put them down, put them back in their cage, walk away. When they're quiet, come in, reinforce the quiet but what you really, really, really don't want to do is yell back at them. <laughs> it's human nature. I mean, obviously, if a bird is screaming, you just want to go over to the bird and say, stop it, shut up. But that really accomplishes the opposite of what we want. So if your bird is screaming, put your bird down. And best of all, if you know when your bird's going to scream, for example, if a bird screams when you leave the room, give him something to do with his mouth, whether it's to chew on a toy or food or whatever, so that he can scream at the same time. But you do have to accept that if you're going to have a bird, they're going to scream a little bit, and hopefully that's okay with you. And if it's not, then maybe a bird is the best choice for you as a pet.